It's the Dosinco Project. Money pouring in, clientele growing down. With your host, Dosinco. Let's go! What's up, everybody? You are now tuned in to the Dosinco Project, where we talk about business, entertainment, motivation, and mindset. I have a legend. By the way, he needs no introduction. You hear me? But if you are under a rock, let me introduce you to him. He is not only a Philly legend, he is a rap legend. You hear me? Mm -hmm. He was signed to the iconic rap label Rockefeller Records. He was part of a group called State Property with Beanie Siegel and Freeway. He acted in a number of movies, including the classic State Property 1 and 2, and also Dame Dash's latest release, Honor Up. He's been on popular shows such as The Breakfast Club and Drink Champs. And aside from all of that, the music and the movies, he is engaging in his passion, which is painting. He has a number of commission pieces around the entire city, including outside of that as well. And you can see it all over his social media. Everyone, please welcome. Oskino Vasquez. That's the best introduction I've ever had. Man, ever. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like, like I said before, and this is take two, but like I said before, you have a great resume, you know? Mm -hmm. And and the thing is, your, your name speaks for itself. You've been in the game for quite some time and you've stayed relevant. Mm -hmm. So I got to give you your it's flowers. It's crazy because you, when, you, when you name it, it's, it's like so much, but you know, when you're doing it, you just do it and forget about it and go to the next thing. So you, right. But you see it all add up, like, I mean, so it's like... And you doing you 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 doing your thing. So so I want to I want to jump into the beginning, right? Obviously, Oskino is such a unique name. Where did you get that name from? Let me move the mic close. I think it's with some girl named Stink from Forty Six and Forty Six and uh, Brown. She started calling me that, and then they like kind of stuck. Okay, the name. she's like, oh, you because I used to wear a lot of Moschino clothes. So right, they, let me call me Oskino. My name, I mean, o Omar. So it's like, I mean, the Vasquez came from back in the eighties. They used to call me that as a joke because I used to always be with my. My best friend Jose, his, his house was next door to mine. Him and Mingy, they mom, you know, they all put like twenty people in there. Right, right. Me, I'm eating yeah, the rice. Yeah, I'm in the front. I'm at the with the bowl of rice and the someone the steps me. And you, you know what I mean, you fast grass. You think you a nigga? You a fast grass nigga? That's what they used to be saying. Like, you know, right. just like you know what I mean. So that's how that went. That's dope. That's dope. And that's so, my son's real name, though. I named my son that for real. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, so um, let's talk about. I mean, obviously, you have so many accolades. You know, you've been around so many successful people. Let's go back to the very beginning because, you know, a lot of people, especially when they're hearing stories. I mean, I know I'm more intrigued on, you know, the, the journey. Right. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about your childhood. Let's talk about how you grew up, you know, because obviously with all the success, people think that you've always been that way. Right. Yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. How did you grow up? What was your childhood like? Well, it, it, to, to the age of about six. It was about regular. You know I mean, like, you know what I mean, regular, as, you know, as, as you can say, say. Uh, after that, it was like start getting, going downhill. You mean drug? You, you mean, I didn't know what drugs, because uh, before six years old, I was sheltered. OK. I mean, it was just in the house. I never was outside. I didn't know nothing about nothing at all. Right. You know I mean, so like when I started knowing something was wrong, I didn't know what it was for sure. But I mean, I started learning, you know, what drugs was real fast. And your parents on drugs, and then you foster care. I mean, and, and, you know, when you're in foster care as a kid, it's, you don't got to guess. You know, nobody don't want you. Right. I mean, you know, nobody don't want you because if they want you, you won't be you won't be in foster care. How, how old were you when you were in foster care? I was nine. You were nine years old. Yeah, I was nine. I mean, so I was, those are the feelings that that you were engaged. Yeah, with, yeah. I, I, I used to like, and, and it's and it's it's a real sad and feel. It's a sad feeling, especially when you know your brother's home. I mean, right. I mean, and it's like, and, but you gotta. What I used to do was I used to tell myself that. I was special. Like I was lying to myself, but it was like, I mean, I was like, I used to do this, play this game in my head, like, yo, I could draw better than my brother. I could do math better than my brother. Anything I was better than my brother, and I would say to myself that make me feel like I wasn't like a loser. You know what I mean? Right. And and because because you you start believing it, that you that you that you ain't worth nothing. You know what I mean? Because if everybody treats you like that, you gonna start feeling like that. That's what I'm sure. Are. So mm -hmm. I find that very intriguing, right? What what made you want to start to talk positively about yourself? Because I'm undergoing I, I, so many negative circumstances. Because I just knew, you no, know, the, the, the one thing, you know, like for instance, when, when kids at home, right, about, I hate this house, I want to leave. They say that really to get attention for somebody to care. Their mom said, dad to care. Right. Nobody, I couldn't say no stuff like that because nobody didn't care. Right. So I, it wasn't no, it was no need for me to try to, I mean, act like I'm sad or somehow I got to try to be not sad because I got to figure this out because nobody's going to, I mean, I don't care, I can't, I mean, so it wasn't like no time to be playing games. I was just like, I got to try to get through this. I think I, plus I feel like I deserve something. Okay. Like I, gotta, I deserve something. I used to watch TV and I see people on TV. I mean, if you just had a, a, a mom or dad or a, a cheeseburger, anything on the TV, I'd be like, you're doing better than me. I was like, I wish I was like them. Anybody, wow. any, 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 anybody, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I'm going to get something. I mean, so that was, that was like, in me since early, I mean. 
I used to, you know, it's funny because I, I used to watch those same shows. I was born in, and raised in North Philly, right? Mm -hmm. So I used to watch these shows like Saved by the Bell, Full House, and I used to look at their lifestyle and I'm like, wow, they're going camping in the You ever see Silver Spoon or are you too young for that? No, I'm, I'm probably too young for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, Silver Spoon, listen. So, you know, uh, what's the uh, Car Carlton off the Fresh Prince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and, and he had a, his best friend was this rich boy named Ricky Stroder. Okay. They got the train that come through the mansion. You serious? Oh yeah, see, we all just put you to watch Silver Spoon, man. Okay, you mean that joint? I used to watch Silver Spoon, like, oh my god, I couldn't believe. Richie, you know what Richie Rich? You seen the movie Richie Rich? Yeah, that that was the thing. That was the cartoon when I was young. Was Richie Rich was the cartoon? Oh, for real? Yeah, some old man. I mean, it was a cartoon, Richie Rich. But 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 I think that's where we got the boy Silver Spoon from because his name Richie, his name Ricardo, something on there. Okay, I mean he he felt his dad like something. He got they got a train that they ride on the train through the house. That's track. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that was um so 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 what made okay, so you've been in foster care, you know, you you dealt with so much. What was the turning point for you? Um, you know, as far as Well, you know, I, I, well I thought the turning point was for me was when uh you know, like what, what happened was I was you know, I went to all these juvenile placements and get, getting locked up, locked up, right? Yeah. So when I was 16, I got locked up for some robberies and they certified me as an adult. And the time changed so much. They like trying to give me so much time. I had to know that, the, that that's how I went. You know I, mean? right. I knew if I do a robbery, I'm young. I get two, three, four years. I'm okay. out. They start talking five for each one. Twenty five to fifty is a deal. And, and I said, what? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm buried. I'm not gonna get out. You know what I mean, wow. I end up getting out. So when I, excuse me, when I got out, I said, I can't do robberies no more. I got to do something else. You know what I mean, so I'm walking down the street and I just happened to see the Army Recruit Center. Went in there. Went, I mean, tried to sign up to go to the Army. I was too young, but they let me take the test. Pass it. When I went to, finally went to the, to the army, I feel like I, I turned it around. I feel like I feel like all right, you made it through, you straight now, but you know, it wasn't the case. I mean, because well, that was the time I thought I, I made it through. Okay, but you know, life's funny. You could think you, whatever you want to think. I mean, you I mean tomorrow everything could change for you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, so you right gotta be grateful that. for it. I mean, so I, I was in the army like that. I'm cool. I'm in the army. So what changed? Like I, got, you, you, I came from the army, basic training. I came home to Philly. Got shot nine times. Couldn't go back. Mm. And I was too young to really know about getting like uh, uh, insurance or uh, trying to get SS. I, I, I mean, so I'm out just just selling drugs now, and I'm going to jail. And regular, mind you, this arm don't work, penis don't work, limp when I walk, nightmares. I had nightmares for like five years. Wow. I'm 18. You right. know what I'm saying? So like, you know I mean, then I'm in jail fighting cases from. I'm in a hospital bit. It was like it was a lot, and I was like ready to give up. I mean, but at the same time, I had a daughter. And I like, I, and I, even though I wasn't t like tight with my daughter at the time, yeah. she was a baby anyway. You know what I mean, because right. I, I was young and I didn't really want no kids. I mean, yeah, you didn't want kids. But as soon as I got shot up, I said, yeah, I'm gonna I'm make sure she don't have to go do none of this stuff. At least let me have, have some money. I didn't know what to do as a parent, but I knew like if I get some money, her life would be a little better. And I just traveled on my mic. And I, I'm really, you know, how you don't tell nobody your plan. You just in your head, you just know. Like I'm gonna go to the studio and I'm not leaving. You know what I mean, I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna learn how to rap real because I used to play basketball. Rap wasn't really. I like Thanks. forcing to be in the rap. Whatever I was trying to do, whatever it can make me not have to be so poor. You know I mean so? Right. But you are always in touch with your creative side. I've noticed, right? Yeah, yeah, but but only in jail though. Mm. See, rapping. I started rapping more in jail because in jail people rap. Right. Well, the streets people ain't rapping Philly back in two thousand. I mean ninety five, ninety four. No, they was in the streets. You know I mean? In jail, everybody rap in jail. That's like a thing. You know I mean so, and then drawing, I should draw people, parents and, and family members in jail for commissary. So in jail, it was like better than sound. It was like the place where I used to be like. Could be me, like you mean? Know, yeah. I, I know everybody from. We went to the same foster care, same juvenile places. I mean, people in there that I knew for more than half my life, just from places. I mean, right. I know they. I know we've been in so many places together. I had a homie named Zach Holmes. His, his mom used to come see him. I'm like, tell him to pull me out. Wow. I mean, he died. I mean, whatever. I mean, rest in peace, Zach. Man, somebody set him on fire. But we was in uh, uh, St. Gabriel's together, Vision Quest together, certified as an adult. Together. Not not the same case. Just yeah, we yeah, have yeah. to we be there. I come, he there. But, I mean, I mean, <laughs> but his mom had all his money, so like, she's like, like, yo, mom, y'all come up here, bring it all. We in different churches. Like, we y'all gonna stop going to jail together? Like, you know, he's, uh, wow. So yeah, I mean, it was like you 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 build friendships in prison. That's like like. Strong, okay. I mean, because because you when you around somebody every day for years, you know how they are, really. Yeah, absolutely. You can't fake it for years. You know, you know, you know, you know them better than you know somebody on the streets. Yeah. I mean, so I met a lot of people in St. Joe that became like my family. Like, I mean, to to this day. I mean, so wow. I mean, so when I was go to jail, my family treated me bad, but in jail, I, I was like somebody in jail. Like, I mean, yeah, like people, yeah. I got friends. I got, I mean, so like jail wasn't a deterrent for me not to do crime. I mean, but I said that I, I think I think I can do something better than just going to jail. And like, I mean. I mean, because a lot of people go to jail, they don't, they won't never say that they jail ain't that bad for them, because they right. embarrassed to see it. Right. I mean, but a lot of people go to jail because jail ain't that bad. It's better in jail for them than on the streets. Yeah. Because you, you tech, I mean, you're taken care of. You don't really have to worry. Because you're important. Yeah. 
Some people are important in jail. You mm-hmm. need this person. This person not to get this, not to get this. They need it. You come home, nobody don't need you. You can't get a job. You can't. You know what I mean, it's so easy to just to give up. You know what I mean? So I you know I mean, I, I was like, and that's how I used to feel when I was a young age. I used to come come home from jail. My mom and my already ain't mess with me, but then they really don't mess with me because they really don't know me. The more I'm locked up, the more they don't know me. Right, right. So I come there, I feel like an eyeball. Like I mean, a place where I'm supposed to feel. You know what I mean, I feel. Love. Yeah, yeah. And I right. never. I mean, so I like. I mean, I never was like on the. You know I mean, like tippers though they like know me, know me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, because I was. Cause you put me away, like I mean, I was always away. So, I was raised like with with trouble kids, and it was so crazy. People that be the trouble people sometimes be the most loyal people, and the most like I mean, the mm. most real people. Like, I mean, it's probably because they've been let down so yep. much that they're looking for community. And, and then when they find somebody that's like like the, the like I got a homie named Aki Jones, right? He's doing twenty five to fifty right now, but like people don't him notice know him as a, being a super killer type boy. You know I mean, right? I when mean, I see him, I just know him so much. Mm-hmm. He, that, I know, that don't fade. Yeah, you. crazy stuff. I'm like, man, that's my bro- that's my brother. We mean, right. so and they will be like, he he'll do anything for you. Mm-hmm. He'll sit in jail for life for you. You know what I mean he he crazy like because what we go through. You know what I mean, but yeah, yeah. so I be like, I look like people don't be seeing people how I see them because they mean they ain't been through what I've been through. You know what I mean, right. with this with these people. You know I mean, like, I mean, they mean different places in these kids. Cause I look back on it like me, fourteen and thirteen and twelve and eleven. You ain't supposed to be doing no years or no, nothing. That's true. If you if, if, a, if a judge see you doing a robbery, I got different. If you raping somebody or you doing some crazy stuff like that, or you go to jail. If you robbing the market and you eleven or twelve, you shouldn't go to jail. If something's wrong there. They they should they should really analyze that and say how, what can we do to rehabilitate this person. Yeah, but you know it's crazy. I remember I was young, right? I was about fifteen. I was in uh, sitting in a uh, courtroom, but they go to, uh, in jail, but sitting in some courtroom, and I said, Dad, why they don't do this? Why they don't do this? Then I said, you know what? They know all this. They're not doing it on purpose. Yeah, it hit me at 15. I said, oh, well, I kept wondering, like, why they, when they going to say this to me? Because if they see I'm on the run from foster care, I'm just there in the third, whatever. I said, oh, they already know that, but that's the plan. Oh. Systematic pipeline through. Um, I think I think this this is actually a, a clear study that based off of third grade yeah, testing. Yeah, it. yep. yeah. It's, it's a pipeline. Sell, that I mean, so, it's something they're going to put in the joint. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. So, so, I mean, I, I see. See, that, that's what's funny. Like, I, 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 I was telling somebody's like saying but about, uh, you know how they got all this cops shooting and how the cops beat you up and like when I look at it, I just love it. It's funny to me because you know I've been in the streets all my life, so right. I've been dealing with the cops all my life. So yep. I'm like, y'all just noticing, y'all this just noticing. This, 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 yeah. It's been happening way more bef- before. <laughs> I mean, cops was killing. You know, cops kill everybody. Say he, he reached. They before they even had to really say there were no cameras. Nothing. He reached. Yeah. They killed yeah. my man. My man was the same age as me. We was young. We was like 14. He was in the car. He had a, a, a sandwich with aluminum foil on him. He wasn't even, my, he wasn't even doing nothing. He's just in the car. He's, oh, he got a gun. She killed him. Wow. He, he seen it was a sandwich. Oh, well, so what? Wow. I mean, and I started saying, like, and then to be a cop only takes six months. Yeah. So you mean to tell me, in the six months you want to go be a cop or whatever, now you got superpowers, you can just control my life and kill me or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. So basically, it's like you saying go, to go be a cop, it's like giving you a license to kill. You got a badge, so now you have more power than me. Yeah, and it's crazy. Whatever you want. Yeah, and, and cops that's like black, they got, uh, and Puerto Rican, they mm-hmm. got to blend in because. They they a minority in that in that joint. I mean, so yeah. but but my thing is this: I would never blend in. I just have to get fired. You know what I mean because you can't be taking people lives, and I'm and I'm part of it, and I got this uniform on with y'all. Like it's like you know what I mean, yeah, it's tough. So oh, so you know everything. I'm, I'm gonna be absolute. I'm gonna be straight up with you, right? With everything that you went through, you know, early age, you you basically did not have a childhood, right? Mm-hmm. You were still developing in your brain. Most people would have blown their brains out already. You understand? Going through everything, going through abandonment from family, going in and out of prison and things of that sort, getting shot nine times, having to deal with PTSD and everything else, they would have ended it all already, right? Mm -hmm. What keeps you strong mentally to want to keep on moving and keep on being successful? Because that was all happening before you you even became successful in the hip-hop industry. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what what kept you mentally strong? Because I admire that about you. So many people use that as a as an excuse, right? Yeah. I was shot nine times. I was in. I'll never succeed. I'll never do this. Yeah. I'll never do that. Yeah. What what made that? You know what differentiated that for you? Well, I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It was days that I that, that I gave up. Like I mean, it was days like, but I never ever thought about killing myself because I know like, what if I go somewhere worse than this? Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, that, yeah. like, like that wasn't in, that wasn't in it for me. An option for me. I mean, so. So, but it was days I was like gave up. So I was like, man, I, somebody, if I get killed, I don't care. Right. If somebody kill me, I don't care. Like, I mean, so I should be doing stuff that like I might can get killed doing it. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. but when I started wanting to be like, first time people told me they like my raps. I couldn't. I mean, somebody do that positive, say something about like that to you, like you do. 
Mm. I mean, it's, the name they took me Jaden Kiss, like my rap. Like, you know, you like, you like. That was one of my favorite rappers at the t- and still is today. Crazy. But like, I mean, so I moved. I think I moved the Yonkers. Like, I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, but and I start saying like, maybe I can do this, and I'm gonna take it so serious that I'm gonna take it more serious than anybody else. Okay. So like, I mean, so I came from the back of the pack to the front fast because, but it was with their girlfriends or going to the movies or anything they were doing was the time I was writing that they wasn't. Mm, so you was in the studio. I, mean, I, lived, I lived there. Got you. I didn't leave. I didn't leave. My man worked at Popeyes. He's bring me chicken. When he worked out off, I mean, I had a vending machine. I stole all the potato chips under the bottom, on the bottom rolls. Put my hand up the drawer. You know what I mean? And it was so crazy. Like maybe eight days before I got my record deal, right? Uh, my man was, in, it was three, me and my two homies in the studio. He's like, yo, we got a sweet lick. We can about to go get. I mean, I, and I need some money back. I'm saying no money. I'm like, man. Right. They're like, yeah, come on. You you, you going? Oh. I'm like, yeah. Let me finish this song. He's like, man, no, man. I'm like, man. I'm like, no, wait. Hold. I said, man, go ahead, y'all. Y'all go ahead, go. They left, and they got ten to twenty years each. Ten to twenty years. Yep. Wow. Ten to twenty years. You know what I mean, and tomorrow, and I, and I always think about that, like that decision, because I don't know if it was me that decided not to go, or if it was just meant for me not to go. Right. Because I, I know I wanted to go. Because I'm like, man, I need that. I need. Some, I mean, and I was like, that that would have derailed my whole life. Think and I, and I wouldn't even want to know. We are one decision away from something being life altering. That was that decision for you. I would never knew. But it's so crazy when I got shot nine times, right? My cousin pulled up. He said, yo, I love crab legs. Oh, they got the crab legs at Pat Mark. about to go down there. You want to go? Uh-huh. But I was winning people money. So I'm like, I don't want to leave and get in the car and I'm winning any money. Right, right. Got shot 10 minutes later, five minutes later. Wow. And I would be thinking, like, damn, I should have, if I just would have gotten that car, mm-hmm. like, and just left, like, you know I, mean? I, I would be a, a cop somewhere because I was going to, probably, my base was like all about, uh, uh, chemical operations and military police. That's the two MOSs there. Okay. So like, I mean, if you on that base for McKellen back then, you could be a cop. Like, you know, if you military police, you can come home, you should be a cop without even going through the, like, you know what I mean? Okay. So I'm like, man, I'll, I'll be a cop. I mean, because I was, I was still a kid, so I wasn't really sure what, I mean, I was going to jail all my life, but I said, right. man, I'm trying to get a job. I just want to be able to take care of myself. You know yeah, I mean? I don't yeah. care about the, all that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, this is so crazy. Like, me not getting shot, I might would have been a cop. Mm. Gotcha. Even though I can't picture it now, like, it's cra- it'd be crazy to even think of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, but I would have been a different kind of cop because at that time I, I already had been through a lot of stuff with, with the police and like you know. So you would have had some sensitivity within the community. Yeah, by the time I'm 18, I already did. Like I, I figured I went away when I was nine. Three, I was in three foster homes with the same mites, with the same uh Gabriels, with the vision quest. You know what I mean, house of correction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and this this to age 16. So it's like I'm at with the 12 places, not including all the days and just in, you study and waiting to go to court about a year or something, just doing that. Right. I mean, so by the time I'm 18, I already then did more than six, seven years, you know what I mean, away. Wow. You know what I mean, it's just, just away. Then when you're on the streets, you, you know what I mean, you sleep in here, you sleep in there, you, you, you know what I mean, you never, you know, you never know, you're just like a floating around. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like, you just, you know what I mean, but I never was sad about it. It's like all my friends, I had friends, my neighborhood was, was real ran down. So like, it was like, you being poor is not a big deal. I know they talking about the recession nowadays. I'm like, people in the neighborhood been on a, in, a, in a recession. Yeah, that's like, normal. See, that's, down north, different. North, yeah. See, I, see you, you from down, like, where, yeah. where I'm from. I never went across Broad Street until I was about 13, 12, 13. I never seen 17th Street. Because you, you go there, they're going to get beat up. You can't go to 18th Street. You got to stay on stay Broad Street. In, in, right? yep. I, can't even go, I, I can't go across Germantown Avenue tracks to 9th Street either. So I got to stay between 13th Street and 11, uh, 10th Street, Germantown Avenue. That's it. Yep. Yep. So that's all I know. I don't know nothing else. I, like, I, so I didn't know like all the stuff people, that I mean, they might, I, mean, so I, was, I was real limited. But what I did learn is personalities. Okay. You know I mean, about people, how people are. Because when you don't got nothing, people don't got to figure like they sound. So you a kid, you living in the house, they know you don't got no parents, you don't got nothing, they to teach you how they really are. They mm. mean and evil, they're going to be evil to you. They, they, they mean, they, they, when somebody else come around, they act that nice. That's true. And I just see that nice, like, people, you, people crazy. Like, I mean, and as a kid, I've seen it so many times, it, it made me like, you never know how a person really is, unless you, as a person that don't have nothing. Right. You mean, how do you treat somebody that don't have nothing, that nobody looking, that's how they, they really are. Muhammad Ali said, um, is, is a quote, I might mess it up, but he said that he only... It, he'll, he'll he'll take someone to a restaurant, like maybe a higher up person that he wants to do business with, and he watches how they treat the waiter. And if they treat him like being very dismissive, he doesn't do business with him. He mm-hmm. says, because I could be in that position one day and you can end up tossing me to the side, you know? So he treat, you know, he he just looked at the way people treat him. So it's kind of same of what you were you know, saying. My dad said something to me one day. It's crazy. My dad, I ain't known for that long. Like, I mean, he died when I was young. I mean, he died in front, he died in front of me, actually, but... He he said something to me. He like he, I, I remember like little sayings he said to me. Right. He said, "See that man right there? Never never make fun of him. He could be an angel." Wow, that's deep. And just that one little that sentence, even though they mean nothing to me at that time. I yeah. mean later on, and he said one thing else. He said to me, "Yo, never kill nobody for money." Mm. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know how you saying this stuff. Right, he's just saying certain yeah, like, things yeah. that just stuck with just you. Some stuff just stuck with you, you know what I mean? And I'm like, it's crazy. Like, I ain't had that much time with him, you know what I mean? Right. But, but like, the, the, the stuff he says, sometimes it comes to me like, oh, I remember he said that to me. And, I was, and when he said it to me at the time he said it, I probably was like, because he died when I was 12. So he probably said it to me when I was five or something, you know what I mean? Wow. And I'm like, yo, this boy was like, Give me stuff for me to have for the rest. Of, like you mean? Yeah. You mean, usually you think you say something to a kid, they're gonna they're not paying attention. They're not going. You mean? But you never know. You'd be surprised. St- certain stuff stick. Yeah. So then... my dad used to, used to come home, and like this is when I was like six. From six years old, I guess I was. You know, can't remember that far before mm-hmm. six. But he went away when I was like six. Whatever. I think he's prison or something. Whatever. Whatever. Came back out of prison, but he was like start, start doing drugs. Okay. Stay at my mom. Mm-hmm. I was in foster care. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, he was jealous. She was doing prostitution. I mean, it's like. She doing all this stuff, but I'm still jealous. I still love you. Right. Whatever. Whatever that happened, when I don't know, I was in foster care, but so I ain't never seen him no more. Okay. I mean, so I'm 11 years old. I'm fixing my bike, and the Cadillac pull up. I'm looking like, I mean, it was my dad. And I'm like, I ain't seen him at that point in about some years. Okay. He's like, yo, I got my life together. I live in Texas. I got a job. You want to come to Texas, Texas with me? I'm like, man, I, please let me go to Texas with you. Like, for real, this is <laughs> this ain't up your whole environment, huh? Yeah. Oh, you know, you was a kid, like, no, I want to go be one. Mom, I got that. Course. No, I was like, man, I'm out. Take me out. Yep. Get me out of here. You know what I mean? So we went to Texas, and, and he was like, worried about me adjusting. I adjusted so crazy. Like, not only did I adjust, uh-huh. I had so many friends and so many. I was like, he was like, yo, I'm proud of you. Like, you really. You you fit wow. right, you click right in, you know what I mean? right. I, when I go to school with like ten of us. My job, I only was down there, I only down there for nine months, you know what I mean? So like and I loved it. Okay. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was so clean. You know, usually you miss home. It's I ain't miss it at all. Home. Like right. I'm about, I, listen, I would have said I ain't even from Philly. I was, I was, <laughs> I'm I'm from Texas. Texas. <laughs> listen, listen, I, I was so like, yo, the school was this decent, everybody was nice to you. Mm-hmm. No, nobody was hungry, nobody was stealing. It was like You see a total different lifestyle. Yeah, it was so different. I was like, yo. My, I, said, I can't even explain it to them to where I came from. They won't even be able to fathom where I just came from. Wow. Like, it's not even a, a... And then I started having... Then I started thinking like a kid again. Okay. Then my dad died. Because you didn't have to worry about that. You didn't have to worry about fending and being in survival mode. I wake up in the morning, he'd make me breakfast, right? And I was like, so weird to me. Like, somebody feeding me. Like, it was like... But he used to put like... And I didn't even like it. He used mm-hmm. to make it like pancakes with corn in it with some syrup. He used to put corn in it? I ain't like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's how the pancakes was corn. Okay. I never seen nobody make it like that to this day. It's like some old stuff. He, you right. know, he was born over 1940. So we eating it. I ain't like it, but as I got kept eating it every day, I started liking it, and I started disliking the fact that he making me something to eat every morning. Mm. You know what I mean? I like it. Made me start feeling like I'm somebody, right? You right. know what I mean? The first time I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm somebody, and I, I felt me changing, right? I'm not worried about if somebody gonna steal my money in the middle of the night or steal my clothes in the middle, of the night, like anything. So my dad died. I came back to Philly, and I still I start forgot my edge. Mm. So I came home. I, the first thing my, he had left me a watch. My mom stole it the first day. You know what I mean, I said you, the old me would have been, been took that off. Like right. I mean, I had, so it's like. I had to get back into Philly mode. I mean, I, all right, that that you had to do a dream for nine months. That's over. Yeah. I mean, now now you got to get back. You didn't, you know, North in the eighties is different. Yeah, yeah. When I picture it, it's just, it was, it's just, it was, just dark and just like I mean, it's yeah, just it's like down. I mean, people people really get money. People like killing over this. You know, the corners. The, I mean, yep. and so it was like it was a guy named Doug, right? I mean, I used to always drop whatever Doug had on. I used to drop pictures of me with that, that on. Do you remember Ethan Butler? Yeah, no, Ethan, my man, right? My, my mom lived right around on Percy Street, right yeah. around Percy and Erie. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, yeah, savage from around there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like the Blue Tape Warriors yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. My man, right here, Jackson from around there. I mean, it was so crazy because the cops they did something to me with him from Ethan Butler. Like, so his brother got killed at a dice game. Okay. They try to say something like, I mean, like, I, you know what I mean, but he, man, I'm building the vision cards together. That's my brother. Like, you know what I mean? Right. I'm like, yo, them boys, so they put him in the cell with me, like, saying, I don't know if they said something to do something to him. I don't know what, the, what it was, but like, you know I mean, I know, I, I know, I already, we already, bro, he already know, you know, he already know who did it. You know what I mean? Right, right. You know, it ain't me. I mean, so, so it's like the cops be doing like shasty stuff and trying to, trying to hurt you. But, but if you already been in jail with everybody and they already know you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, that was my man, Raheem Jackson. You know I mean, we was a vision cards together. A, a person from every neighborhood I know. That's crazy. But we have man working. No, no, everybody's like, oh, we used to this place together. No, we used to this place you together. You got a magnetic. A- a- Ashley's off the camera right now. D- he has a magnetic personality, right or wrong. Yeah. No, but it's like, <laughs> but you know, because I've been going to the worst. Because I went to Dallas was the, la- the last job I was at. Okay. It's, it's, it's terrible. You may call it the Pink Palace. It's, 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 it's old school. That's the John Wallow 267. Yeah, he was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, when I first came, they was like, wouldn't let me play spades. Like they, they look at me like this nigga rap. This nigga, the man, we not right. They, they all got like they all been together for years. I'm sitting there trying to get winners. The niggas not like, not like, like you play. gonna stay right here in the back. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> By the time I leave, they, they love me. Like wow. the, about, even the haters. Okay. I mean, because I was the same every day. They, but but I, without trying to be not just being myself. Right. I mean, just being myself. That's it. Like I mean, and they saw how real you were. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that's it. It wasn't no extra shit. You know what I mean, I mean, and,
Because wow. no, even if my life was worse than yours in the beginning, you got you got life in prison. Not, your life is done. Your story's done. Right. I mean, unless you could you might could change it a little bit in here, doing something from inside the prison, but, but like basically your life is when you wake up every day knowing where you're gonna go, knowing your limitations, you can't meet a girl, you can't You will never leave outside those walls. Mm. And yeah, you, you got good health, you want to help you strong, you might live for another 50, 60 years. Like it's like Yeah, that's tough. Mm. So would would you say to transition into the rap career, right? You obviously focused a lot of your energy on that. Would you say that all of what you dealt with, including that, just said, you know what, I'm going to be successful in this rap, in, in, in this rap game? I think I think if it wasn't rap, it would have been something else. Okay. Because I was I was really really dedicated. Like, one thing about me when I was young, I know how to focus. Okay. I don't know how where I got it from, but I know I, I could say, all right, I'm gonna do 100 songs. Right. And I would like do 100 songs. Okay. I, I had two young boys that used to rap with me. I said, when y'all get out of school, y'all gotta write rap from this time to this time. I was like militant. So some people think I was just like a I just rap like. For me, I took it as a job making no money though yet. Okay. I mean, so it was like it was like it was like for me, it's like people, that's the thing people don't see. I mean, I, and there's no way for me to tell them how, how hard I try. Every day I had a new, new rap, some practice some new style because I can't talk that good. So you know I mean so like I had to be in there practicing and practicing and practicing. I said, yo, when I get my chance, I'm gonna kill him. I'm, but if I if I ever get a chance. When did you get that chance? 99, August 21st, 28th. Where where were you described? How everything connected. Well, you. I was in living in Yonkers. I mean, I came and I was nine months, ten months. I'm going to reference. Well, out of all places, so you've been in Philly. What made you go to Yonkers? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm walking. It's like guys, like some, some some TV type stuff. I'm walking to the studio. Now, I don't know what I was thinking about, what I was going through, whatever. But a, a red truck backing out the studio. My man, I had a homie named Spade and, and Goldbro. They was called Ready to Raw. Okay. They had a manager that lived from Yonkers named Hip Dog. I never knew him. Okay. But he's like, yo, you on ski now? I like kiss her. He's joined. Like he's joined. He said, "I joined hot." He said, "Oh, what kiss?" <laughs> Yo, that's saying that to me is like saying like bees. Right, man. right. So he's like, yeah, we about to go to Yankees now. You want to go? I don't know. I don't know him at all, right? I'm like, I said, I only got sixty dollars. He's like, man, you, you good? Come on, get in. Okay, get in. Don't come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like that. Listen, left with my just my man to this day. He thought he like the Godfather. Like he, he, he a good person. Gotcha. I mean, Christian boy. You mean make good. sure he look out for you. Yo, and listen, dog. He don't. He don't care. He don't want nothing. Right. He rare. He rare. He, he genuine. He yeah, genuine. And that's what, but you know me, I'm looking like, what's this boy want? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm all, what, what do we want? Ain't that crazy in life? Sometimes you got to question people's motives. Because so many because people did you wrong. Because they, and people always take, take, take. And you can't believe somebody's doing something for you. Right. You know what I mean? So he said, listen, y'all, I'm going to get y'all this efficiency. Mm -hmm. And then we know, this ain't no, no for y'all to be chilling. No. It was no, cap listen, y'all writing raps in here. To work. So me, go, but mind you, they, 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 they signed, they like almost signed with Rough Riders. They, they doing this movie with Mary J. Blige. I'm the third will. Wow. So like, I'm like, my, they could rap. GoPro was like one of my favorite rappers at the time. So I'm like, damn, I'm with these. I'm this close. They close, but like, I can't. So they, they used to do meetings and stuff. I couldn't go with them. Okay. And we live together. I mean, so I, I was like, that was like fueling my like, I got I to gotta try to get on. I mean, so they do shooting a movie, I mean, called Prison Songs. I'm like, I can't get me. I can't get it or whatever. But it was motivating it's because motivating. You, you, you were being exposed not knowing, to it. Not knowing two years from now, I'm going to be doing my own movie. Ain't that crazy? I mean, so, but we, we was always tight. All of us was always tight. We never had. We, we really love rap. I mean, right. so, so. So every time I go to the block where we're kissing them be at, I know all his homies and everybody, I mean, rap, for kiss, rap, for kiss. Because Kiss was like, uh, uh, he looked like a, he was the same age as me or younger, but he was like an old, OG, you know Right, right. So I remember he coming through, he got the, uh, he writing people's songs. I think he wrote, uh, uh, what's that, what's that, uh, uh, May song, I think it's my song. But then he got Mary J. Blige coming through, giving, he, cause you know, he was ghostwriting for a lot of That's people. That's crazy, right? He getting rollies and spins and stuff. I'm like, dang, I wanna be like this. Right. You know I mean? That's why, I, like, when they did the, the dissing, the, the J.D. Kiss song, I didn't, I said, I can't just take chickens. Oh, so that, so that, so that whole rap battle between Rockefeller, the locks, and so forth, you, you, you said, I'm just gonna stay out of that. Yeah, I can't, I should, I should not go to no, my, it makes sense. I should not go to my door. Give me hundred dollars. Give me hundred dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how did how did Jada Kids view you though, knowing that you were a part of that? You know, but, but he was trying to get me not to sign the right, right, for. Got you. Okay. Like I signed, I went back to, to tell him. Okay. Because he's like, oh, I'm gonna be with me. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna. Hey, was he was he with um, Rough Riders? He was trying to he was trying to get off Puff Daddy John. Remember yeah, Puff Daddy? I remember that. The last go John. It was around that time. You know what I mean? So I came and told him, I was like, yeah, I got a daughter, kiss, I'm trying, you know what I mean? But then they had, they, they did an interview about, I think, what, what, what magazine was it? Some magazine, they interviewed Sparks, but they said it was me. And he said something about them, right? And I remember I seen Kiss in Miami, but I was young, though. Was I wanted to tell him, like, that wasn't me. But I'm like, man, I ain't no bitch. I ain't fucking, I ain't saying that. Right. I ain't seen that too. And it hurt me a little bit, like, I, you know what I mean? Because even though it wasn't no crazy shit Sparks said, but whatever, I didn't say nothing, but it wasn't me, you know what I mean? Right. But I was like, I ain't going to say that to him, because he ain't going to like, you know what I mean? Like, so. I mean, I, I, that's the only thing that kind of hurt me. I was like, damn, he, he probably think, I, I mean, because they say I said it. They say, oh, skin. I'm like, that, I mean, because they ain't know us. Yeah, exactly. They just, the, the, uh, was it what fucking magazine? I forgot what magazine it was. Source, Vibe magazine. Yeah, some shit like that. You know what I mean? They say, yeah, I'm like, that ain't me. Fuck saying that. But mm -hmm. I ain
Mm-hmm. Got no kiss before I knew mm-hmm. state property. Yeah, it was tough. Let me, I knew, I knew kiss before did, them. Did kiss ever take you to the side and have a conversation with you while all of this was going on? No, I never seen him. Oh, okay. But, but I'm gonna take boy like this. All right, boom. You my man. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. Right. right. This is my squad. You gotta rock out. For I gotta me. pick. I can't play both sides. Right. But I'm not gonna dish you. Right. right. I'm not gonna. I mean, because this is rap. It ain't like it's the streets. So it's the rap. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, plus I look up to kiss, kiss like a person to look up to for like his, 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 the long, as long as he been rapping and, and popping. Like it's like un- he came out in like 90, 94? He literally is. He came top out in ninety four. He came out ninety four or something. He still out and he still get paid for verses and all. Ain't that crazy? And he never was a top the top rapper, which he should have been. Right. But he's just starting to get like I mean that verses battle was crazy. That was when the day before the verses battle. You were? Yeah, we had we had a, what, what was we at? We had the, the party at Cambridge. Cambridge, Maryland. We was in Cambridge, Maryland. Man, kiss. He could have handled that whole thing by himself. Anybody go against kissing that? That's retarded. It's tough. He got too many. He got. Too- mm-hmm. But you know who, you and, know, and, and his delivery and his performance. You know who underrated? They don't talk about who was hot Mace. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. The Biggie just especially when he was uh when, Murder Mace. Yeah, Murder Mace. Yeah, when, listen, Mace the kiss, but Biggie had to rap with these boys and he make them look like they they kids still. Right. That's how good he was. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, but that's what Styles. Sometimes it was all Styles, style. Styles was, was real lyrical back then too. He used to be lyrical more than he okay. was now. I used to listen to they take but study it. Like I mean, that's, I used to study the, they, they joints. Like I'm talking about seriously. But when uh, DJ Clue Jones came out, like I'm like, yo, I got. I mean, first want to get it, listen to it, learn it. Uh-huh. You know I mean, and bite. It's still wow. something, you know what I mean? Like, just to be honest, because you know, your vocabulary not there when you're young. You ain't go to school. Right, exactly. I mean, you so learn. you're just learning from them. Yeah, you learn the words and what mm-hmm. they mean and, like, I mean, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, like. So, oh, you, so, so you, you signed to Rockefeller, right? Mm-hmm. How, what, did you feel like, I made it? I'm done. What I felt, I felt like, you know what I felt like? Once I got some money, right, I feel like if I die now, at least I prove to myself that I'm something. Right. Especially right. after everything you dealt with. Yeah, it's, it's, it proves, uh, I mean, because like, my, it was so crazy that people didn't believe me. There was mm-hmm. no internet, none of this. Just, yeah, that's true. Nothing like, to document. Then, but then we had a party. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had a party, it was like a big party, like, you I mean? So they like, mm. then they start seeing me driving Jaguars. I'm, my manager had a Jaguar, I got that joint every day. Yeah. I got diamonds on now, I got, because I mean, you know, back then you get signed, you get life change. You know, you sign, you're still regular. Right, right. You sign, and you might not be rich, but you're living the best life. You know and, the thing, and the thing is, the hip hop back then, before social media and everything, that made, that, that put you on like a godlike level because nobody saw you. They didn't see your journey. So when they did see you, they treated you like a. Yeah, you on a, a source magazine, yeah. you were you, 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 you on a TV movie. Movie, and we was in the movie theater. So every day, you know, the newspaper got the movie that's playing. You, got, yep. you see you in the newspaper every day in New York, wherever you at. Uh, yo, look, I'm in the paper for not no crime. Like, this is crazy. You put yeah. on for Philly, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and it's so crazy. When we did High 97, we didn't have no, real, no, no idea that how big it was. Because for us, it was just like what we do all the time. You know, I still play. I still yeah. play that to this day. It's, it's, that, we could do a tour off just that. Yep. I mean, we, did, we had a show just off High 97. Uh-huh. Pe- people would come to see that. Because like, I'm talking about Dave Eastman, like, yo, oh, listen. I was in my crib. Yo, the Hot 97 came on. Yo, I was like, this is the radio. Like, I mean, everybody, like, everybody I talk to that's like major people. Like, I mean, they're like, yo, man, that 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 day. I go on YouTube and I and I put the Hot Hot 97 free so, so we leave out regular. We don't think nothing. Right. right? We, 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 we come back to Philly for a couple of days. I get back to Philly, right? All right, I heard one car ride past playing it. Another car ride past. Another car. I'm on 52nd Street just playing it in the store. Play. I say, yo, every, every, they say, yo, we're going on a tour for this joint. We yeah. went on a 14 city tour off of this same, they don't even know how we look. That's crazy, man. And we're like, what? We always do this. Did you feel like the Hot 97 freestyles really put y'all on as yeah. a group? As, as yeah, without, without that, we wouldn't be a group. Mm, got yeah, you. We, because so when we, they when, when they saw y'all freestyle, they said, okay, this is the group. They we thought we was a group, but we wasn't, even, we wasn't together. But we was like, we knew each other from like being signed at that point. You know what I mean, but we wasn't together. Right. So you know, we went up there. We just don't. We always do. We always had ciphers, though. Okay. I mean, so we went up there and like, just did what we do. And it's like they like, damn, that shit was good. It's yeah, crazy. Crazy. I mean, and it's like that, that was a moment. And I just got out of the prison. I almost missed it. I'm, I'm five, probably five days. Wow. I mean, so, so I mean, I got there. Five, and I, I mean, that shit don't change everything. So what did you? Okay. So obviously you're around Jay Z. Obviously today multi billionaire mm-hmm. or yeah billionaire. Dame Dash strictly independent. He's talking about this whole independent movement. He has every, what. Did you pick their brains? Did you what did you learn from I, them? Well, I, I, I learned what I learned from them is like what money was like. I mean, like, like you know, I, I, I thought I was getting money. I mean, I thought I was getting money. Then I started being like, you know, seeing what money they was working with. It's like a whole got, other like, got a long way, to, long way to go. You know what I mean, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you got half a million, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. What's an example to you where you was like, man, this money's on a whole other level? I'll tell you one. All right, I'm a Dame crib one day. Mind you, it's called the Black Door. Okay, apartment, twenty five thousand a month, whatever. So he had a painting up. This before I was even thinking about painting. It was a, it was a beach ball. And I'm, I pick it up, looking at it. Hey, yo, put that, put it, you know, put that down. I'm like, yeah. just put it down. All right. 75,000. Wow. I said, this is 75,000 wow. to beat this beach ball. <laughs> so, 
then he had three drivers that slept outside. The drivers getting paid two hundred dollars an hour. He got one for his wife, one for his son, and one for him. They be so they was just around the clock, just around the out clock. Slop, and when he's not using them, them, they still right there, parked in front of the crib. Three of them. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it was like you, you, you mind you, you get money, right? But you're like, man, I ain't, I'm fucking broke. This shit, this is, <laughs> this is. Crazy. I mean, like so, like then you know, I used to go to Dame, just give me keys to the Beverly Hills Mansion. I used to go there whenever, whatever I wanted. I, I don't know. How I gravitated towards Dame, like because like he, he showed me that he cared. It wasn't about music. Yeah, I mean, he like he the type of person you go like he care. Right. So that's why when he be when, when he be getting a bad rap, I'll be like, damn, they don't even know. Did you know did you know his his story? I mean, did 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 y'all exchange stories as far as how you grew up, how he grew up? Yeah. Because he he has a similar, I mean, not to your extent, but he also yeah, lost we, his we, mom we, at an early age and everything. We we, we, we we talk about everything. That's probably what gravitated y'all together. Let me tell you what me up. Let me up. No, let me tell you what happened with me. I don't have no mom dead and that that you mean that, I mean so I was going I got locked up for the robbery, I didn't do. I was found a Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. He said, Yo, you make, I'm I'm coming down there. I was like, mind you, I'm not even thinking that you coming. This, this back then, this is 02. So Dane right. was like, million. Yeah, he, big you know dog. I mean? Married to Rachel Royce. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I said, you coming down. All right. He came down and got a, got a lawyer for me, another lawyer. Got to go, took the stand. Saying that, yo, like, you know, he, he, gonna, he got an appointment, whatever he need. But yeah. the, the, the sheriff's ladies were like, oh my God, you see his earring? Like, I mean, they come take me back. Like, it made me somebody. I mean, because I mean, still, still, still people that really didn't know. Who he was, right? I mean, so they like oh, he had Dame Dash to come to, to his trial, his court. Like, wait. Wow. I mean, when he did that from, then I got shot in 05. I mean, 05, 06. He came and picked me up, picked me out of the apartment. Like, no, every apartment I seen, I like. I was like, oh, I like this John. He's like, no, no, this ceiling ain't too high. They ain't high. I mean, yep. Hand picked the John, paid the first down payment and everything. I mean, she, oh, you paid the rent, whatever. I mean, but but that to me it wasn't even about the money. It's like that you care to do it. Well, you know what's crazy is that you listen to a lot of Dame Dash interviews and Dame mm-hmm. is all about family. He's all about taking care of his own. He constantly pushes that, right? You can clearly see by those examples with you that he really meant what he said. You know, he's just not saying it for the sake of saying it. You said this. I, just, I, just, I went to L.A. about... Well, what the most I went to L.A. When, they, when I got that, he gave me the crib. I, was, I had a hotel room. I come see him. What's up, Dan? Bring, I always bring him sneakers. Okay. Bring him some sneakers. Hey, you in a hotel. What hotel you in? I said, I'm like the Hyatt or something, something, something nice. No, no, no. Go get your, go get your shop. You're not staying in the hotel. <laughs> Give me the keys to a mansion. Five foot, eight bedroom mansion. But it's empty. I'm in mean, there. Like, just, it was pool. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're like, you're not sleeping. In it. I mean, just stuff like that. Like, I mean, my thing is this. When you come from where I come from, not, not nobody giving you nothing ever. When people do stuff like that for you, be like, you know what I mean? Right. You never get used to it. Because mm-hmm. I had this mansion before, like, 05, oh, 06. I had a key. Yeah. Give me the key. Because he, he don't even be out there. This is in LA. He's still living in New York. I go out there. It's the maze out there. It's, the, it's empty. It's just four cars. And then we were the same size sneaks, and I mean, I, I got everything I need, right? That's right. Crazy. You know what I mean, so it's like, I mean, so like, that, that's a lifelong like person I respect. You know what I mean, okay. So like, you like, still connected with him to this day? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> she even connected to him. Wow, that's <laughs> I mean, awesome. Dame is definitely a legend, man. Flowers to him. Which is so crazy. I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but I came home from job. I was like real insecure. Like I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was going to school, so I had a DVD player. I had a, a movie I was about to watch. I wanted to go put it in there, and it fell on the ground and broke. Okay. Right? So now I got the TV on. I said, damn, man, I got the TV on. As soon as I got the TV on, a uh, boy playing Dame Dash in, I think, a Leah movie. Uh, the, uh, like a Leah movie or whatever. Okay. Boy playing Dame Dash. I'm looking like, I got to call Dame. Mind you, I ain't talk to Dame until I was out of jail or nothing. Right. I said, I got to call Dame and tell him about this boy playing anymore. If I call around, get his number. <laughs> call, I call Dame, like, yo, who the, this nigga playing you on TV is, who the fuck picked up? Trash, right? Said, oh, fuck is you talking about? I ain't talking to you on your, nigga, where is you, where's you at? You out of jail? <laughs> You're talking about this movie shit. So, yo, I'm doing the movie. You want? I need you to come down and you can have a part. Wow. If I got the part, it's like, like that. Yo, if I ain't dropped the DVD player, I right. would have. Was be, that the honor up? Yeah, honor up, yeah. Wow. He, he wrote it, he got a person named O, put in the movie so I can play it. That's crazy. You mean, like, you know, like, you mean, it's, it's just like he put Cameron in and, and paid in full. He had to fight for that. He got Cameron at Cologne. Wow, the old boy Cologne? Yeah. That's crazy. Man. I mean, he put Kevin Hart on. Yeah, he put, he put a lot of people on. See, a lot of people, see, especially in the very beginning of, of, of you know, him being on social media and everything, they, everybody bashed him. They, and now everybody's riding his coattail because he's been preaching this whole thing. Dame had a, uh, listen, I, I couldn't understand the internet. For no for some reason, I couldn't grasp what it mean. Like, I remember PD was telling me about, uh, what's the first one that was out? Uh, what's the first thing? It was not before Instagram. What was it called? Uh, um, was it, uh, oh, um, MySpace. MySpace my, he's like, telling me about MySpace. Like, yeah, you, you get to MySpace, people could talk to you and then, I said, well, 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 for what though? Like, 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 I just didn't understand it. So Dan came with the drawing was though you had your own room. Like it's like a room you can hook it up, buy, buy bottles, everything costs money. Okay. This, this in 2000, 2001. Wow. I mean, like you talking about the, the stuff that like how they do now? Yep. He had, he had like made and everything. So he had people that wanted made it and everything. I forgot. I gotta call him and ask him what it was called. He was twenty years too early. 
That's crazy, man. I'm like, dang, what are you talking about? Buying stuff on the phone? I don't know. I, I got to go. I remember when he had the rock box, which was supposed to be the iPod. Like, he, he's always been ahead of the curve, man. Mm-hmm. And he be acting like he regular, but he be doing, he, he, he easily do 20 things at one time in a day. Easily. And without being tired, just, just, he just autom- automatically. Well, he calls himself a time traveler. He that's, say he you know, goes right That's why I, I just don't like the fact that him and Jay-Z wasn't together. That was like, like powerhouse, I, man. For me, even if I don't like, really respect Jay-Z the same as I respect Dave, yeah, yeah. I don't like to see them not together. Right, right. Because together, they like- They've done so much. Unstoppable. Like, mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, it's like a, a, the, the gut, even the part, they, they still powerful, but, I mean, but like, together is like- Nobody can stop them. No. So when, so when, when I mean, obviously, Rockefeller Records, the, they were at the top. You guys were at the top when, it, when, when everything just went haywire, mm-hmm. right? What was going through your mind? Because now you're like, hold on, I have this deal. They're about to break up. What's you know like? I ain't what's going on? I, was, I, ain't I was hustling. I, you was out there hustling still. You just yeah, I was hustling the whole time. Okay, the gotcha. rap money made me be able to hustle the way I always wanted to hustle. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to start from the bottom, and I, I can go by a brick. You know what I mean? Right, I mean? Right. So I was hustling. So I was like on the tip, like, I'm gonna get this. I, 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 I never thought the rap was gonna even last that long as it did. Anyway, you know what I mean? I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I, I proved to myself what I am. I mean, I mean, I got a name. I know how to work my name. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, so it was like. I was my, when you come from nothing like you and you hear it, at that place I was I was like man I'm, I'm not I mean I'm good like you know what I mean, right, like, right. You you know what I mean? even somebody's bad they don't understand what bad is yep. I mean I know what bad is you know what I mean so like I never even I mean because I know because I, I, I already know my worth and I know what I could do now like because I proved it to myself once you could do it once yeah you know you could do it. But I should say I was going to sign the Rockefeller. I should say it before I even knew these. So I you were just manifesting all of this. I mean, I didn't even know that was what it was called. I was just like, yo. Mm-hmm. I just told my friends, they like, whatever. Because like, you know, I was like, when, when Big and Pac died, yep. Jay-Z was like, that's all I used to listen to. Mm-hmm. So I, he, I used to write all my songs over his song called Jigga. That's my mother. Yep, that's yep. before you can really buy instrumentals. Yeah. So I said, play that song a thousand times a day, writing my raps over top of that beat while he rapping. You know what I mean? All my songs was to that one beat. Like that right, right. nigga beat. You know what I mean? So like, that nigga was like, I mean, Cause that's why people don't understand it. They think I don't like him. Like, no, I respect him. I just wish he had certain different ways of him that was different about him. Yeah. So I can look at him, look up to him all the way. Got gotcha. you. Mean, but it ain't like I'm saying. Oh, he's been, but he do some nuts shit. Some, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, so like, it ain't like, but he do some great shit too. Like, you know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? So like, it ain't like that. You know what I mean? So people be like tripping and saying like, cause like right now they they was just on the uh, what's that? What's the name? It was the Tavis Smiley show or something. Travis Smiley, whoever that okay. was on TV, like, yo, well, this old skin dropped a bombshell. I said, no, I ain't dropping no bombshell talking about his daughter. It was just some typical, like, everybody was talking about the movie we was at. Okay. So right now I talk about it on camera. Everybody like, they scared. They don't want to damn thing say nothing. They don't know. <laughs> they like, they look at you like you've always and outspoken. If, and, and if it ain't true, beautiful. Mm-hmm. If it's true, it's not good. Right. That's, that's it. Yep. It ain't like nobody saying go to jail. You're the worst fight. Nobody saying none of that. Just like, I mean, it's, everybody got a right to their opinion. Everybody got a voice on the internet. And yeah, I do it too. Makes sense. I, I, got, I, got one, I got one too. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. You know I mean? But people, you know, we got fans. They don't like that. You, if you say something about somebody, mm-hmm. whoever the most famous person is, and the other person say something about them, they're hating automatically. There's no, I mean, and they don't really understand what hate is. Hate means you want to see the demise of a person. Right. So if I was hating, there's other stuff I could say. When you just sharing an opinion, people don't, well, people don't want to Then it's about something no that's more. like, I'm saying, if you got a daughter and you find out it's your daughter and you never t- like, look now, you don't acknowledge her in front of the public. Yeah. And I don't understand that because I got two daughters. Right. I mean, I, I understand a nigga not paying some shit for his kids because he's hustling. He might go out pay his rent. I understand some shit like that. Yeah, but I don't understand when you got the means to do anything you want. And, 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 and I don't you're understand not acknowledging. Yeah, right. that's, that's that's all. I mean, well, so, you are coming from a place where you're a father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it kind of hits different. Yeah, I got. But my thing is, even if my kids ain't like me, if I got a billion dollars, you got a billion dollars too. You got access to a billion dollars. Yeah, that's so true. And you, it's no, it's nowhere I could be at that you can't go. Yeah, you want to live in my house? You can live. You got that option to live in my house. Right. I mean, your dad, like. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And so, like, so people are like, well, why are you saying I'm not saying I'm just saying I'm saying if that's what the case is, I don't understand it. Yeah, I mean, if you, you ain't even got to be around, you're like, yo, hey, daughter, give me a kiss on the cheek. You want you want make want to make that? All right, and that's and that's and that's your opinion, and you entitled yeah. to it. You know, and I think it's a I think it's a right opinion. Like, it is. How can it be a wrong opinion about like, you saying do good for your daughter? Right. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So like, but you know how the internet is. Oh, absolutely. They'll, they'll, they'll they make take anything things, bad. They'll twist it. Yo, listen, I seen somebody bringing a LeBron, Le, an old lady's a pair of LeBron sneakers. She was in the hospital about to die. Okay. Right. This, I'm thinking everybody's like, because I'm going to say it. I'm about to cry looking at this. Like, right? <laughs> they like little LeBron's. The whole hospital room, all LeBron shit. My fuckers are like, why the fuck he wasting a pair of them good LeBron's when somebody's about to die? Wow. I said, these people. Yo, I see all that, yo. And then, wow. yo, I said, yo, these niggas, like, yo, they see it. I said, how could you it's, say that? It's heartless, man. They say it's anything out their mouth, man. Like, and they say stuff that's like, it could affect a person. They read, yeah. like, Absolutely. Because <laughs> I mean, you're human, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
Yep. It just goes to show you some people's mentality, you know? Yeah, and it's scary. Yeah, it is. It's very scary. Especially, I mean, you have people, I mean, think about it, right? I, I even said this not too long ago where you'll have somebody getting beat down in the streets, getting killed. And people just got their cameras out, just recording. You the see when the guy that little of, kid fell off the the, the uh, ride? Yeah, the was yeah. Like just filming. He recorded. I'm like, what are you doing? Help my man! But this is the time in the world we live in. I was on the internet, saw my son. Like, you know, wow. Uh, but the person, I, I, I told him take it down, take it down. I mean, but and they did take it down. Yeah, yeah. some kind of like it happened with me. But I, like, I was filming already. Right. I'm filming myself, and the guy came up on a bike, and he falls off the bike in front of my car. I'm, I'm getting gas, and. He, I didn't know he died. This at the is time. in the middle of you filming yourself. Middle middle. Okay. So I got the phone and it's like filming him, uh, but at the same time, the film me it showed me helping him get his the thing out of his head, get his bike put up, his book bag. So his kids. and it's good that you worth documenting yeah. because people could change that, yeah, yeah. you know, around. And, and then his kids came one day. I'm somewhere. I forgot. I was like, was that the John? Yeah, the John. We had a uh, birthday thing. He was cooking. Oh, yeah. In the hallway, two, two girls walked up to me like it was like grown ups. They're like, "Yo, thank you for, for what you did for our father." Wow. I'm like, "Who your father?" Because I had put a post in it, but he wasn't dead yet. Right. He died. I guess like later on because the of the injuries. Yeah, he had a heart attack. Oh, oh gotcha. You know I mean? So like they said, the way you had him, they, they, we saw you. We saw you taking his bike in the back. We saw you. I said because oh, I put it on YouTube. Like, yo, take it down. He died. I said, oh, he did. I didn't know. I took it down. I still got the video and everything. But like, he he, he passed away. Like, you know what I mean, I could have been doing anything, but I was helping him. Right. You know what I mean, and it really was filming him, like because like jerky around. I, I got the phone in my hand still. Well, you got it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? But it's like, oh, oh, his family. The way it was coming to me, saying thank you. I was like, damn, I mean, feel like I really did something. Like, you know what I mean, but I just did what I thought with any person. I mean, because you're just being a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like he fall in front of you. But I was like, but listen, the crazy part, that night, yeah. that night, somebody got hit by a truck. Mm. I got it on tape too. Okay. It was ended up being the fire chief boy of, of whatever county, like this county I was in. I'm trying to help him. Right. Because he the boy hit him and left. It was middle of like <sighs> like five in the morning. Okay. Right? So that that happened at about five in the morning. The boy crashed died in front of my car about twelve, I don't know, six like seven hours later. Mm. Like, like it was like but the boy, the fire boy ain't died, but he's like, Back, what's, what's your name? Back, he wanted me to, like, he was scared I was going to try to do something to him. Right. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Like, he's like what's your name? Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle me. of him. I got no time. He on the this bike, the wheel spinning and broke up. He uh -huh. on the ground broke up. Like, I mean, I said, oh, hey, listen, I'm just trying to help you. That's why I don't want to touch you or nothing. I'm just trying, I mean, because nobody's out there. That's true. No, listen, I'm right, I'm about to write a rap. I said, boom. Mm. I said, what the fuck was that? God, they're looking around. It's dark. It's a dark ass road. He on the drone, bikes will spinning. Well, he could have died right then. Yeah. Man. Yep. Had you not been there, they had me in the paper out there for that shit. <laughs> wow. I said, "What the fuck is going on?" Like two two things, and like that's so traumatic in six seven hours. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, think about it. You know, it, it's it's so rare nowadays. You know, people like yourself that actually are helping and actually are very genuine. You know, you don't really get that no more. I don't understand man. why you don't. But what I do is most of the time is put myself in. If, I was, if that was me, I do the same thing. That was me. Like, I mean, what? I hold the door for people. Yeah. People just walk past. Yeah, that's sure. if I was supposed to do that. it. She hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I automatically do. Like, that means just stuff that I automatically do. Just, I mean, I don't know. But that's why I think everybody like been born, but been here before because I mean, because like, what make you do that? Right. It's like what makes somebody else not do that? Yeah. I mean, y'all could be born in the same house and you know, could just be doing that separate outlooks on life without trying. That's true. You know what I mean, like That's your so two true. sons, I'm pretty sure they nothing to like. Probably like they probably got they probably talk the same because they get me, but they don't probably got their own different stuff they like. Their own food they got they different like. personalities. You know what I'm saying they all the way all the way different. They raised in the same. Yep, same I mean, household. And it's like that's everywhere. Every any house you go to, every kid, like you heard she, two, you got three sisters, they all different. Wow. I mean, like, about everybody's all the way different. Not even like a little bit. And they were all raised the same. Yeah, same, same everything. I yep. mean, so that's why I think people been here before. And it's a, wow. that's a, and that's a saying that people old people always say. She been here before. Mm. They always they always say that, but you'll never think about what they saying actually. Right. My oldest son, he always been an old soul, man. He was like two years old and just carried himself a certain and way. That, why? Listen, my son, listen, my son was a baby. He got mad. I wasn't pouring the stuff on the bottle fast enough. When he got the bottle, he threw it and almost broke the window. <laughs> and I was mad first, but he's like not even one. I'm like, how the fuck you know to be mad? How did he know to be? How mad? How did he know to be mad? Right? Especially if you ain't show him. Yeah, no he, 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 hey, I see him to the back. I see yo, So hey, I'll be thinking deep about stuff because you know what I mean. Of course, because I'll be trying to find meaning to what the stuff I went through. Yeah. You know I mean, so I always be trying to find out, like, what is this? I'm going to be honest. Oh, man, you need to put your entire story in a book. I seriously believe that, man, because especially in Philadelphia with so much going on. I mean, we just heard about the Texas shooting, you know, with all those kids and stuff like that. People are going through so many traumatic experiences. I truly believe that you need to put something in a book, man, and, and at least do that. So that way, when you're no longer here, mm -hmm. that's something that can live on. Think about it. You've been through so much. A lot of people... Not even a not not even a percentage would, yeah. would would even dare to go through what you're going through. You know, I truly believe that man. That's a success story in itself. Because the thing is, even after 
even after you no longer being with Rockefeller, like what were the next things you were doing? I mean, obviously you were hustling, but how did you continue to keep your name alive? You gotta remember after Rockefeller, we still was considered Rockefeller. Right. That's like, true. Once you once you dead, that's you, you yeah. got what you are forever. You still, you know yep. I mean? So I always put out mixtapes. I, like, I mean, so like plus I was always like flashy for like most of the time I was like flashy. Like so like I mean, when you look like money, everybody that got money carries you your your bus moves. You always kept you always had a good fashion sense yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, got my cars. Get, I, mean, I, till this I was standing for a long time. I mean, so like, but I know how, I knew what it meant. I yep. wasn't standing just for starting sake. I know like, if I'm getting money, they're not gonna lowball me. They're not gonna play with me with this money. Gonna try. I mean, right. plus I met a lot of people that had money from my time to Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. like, people in Ohio, my niggas. You know what I mean, so I can get bricks easy. I was like, I can get some bricks easy. You know what right. like, I know everybody who buy them from jail. We, I know, I don't even the cops. I know. I mean, so like, I wasn't doing the heaviest. I could have been doing it. Yeah, but I was doing the heavy enough. Where so I ain't gotta worry about me rapping no more. You know what I mean, I ain't, you know what I mean, so it was like, it was like, but then I quit cold, cold turkey. I just quit. Mm. I mean, so like kept, rob kept robbing my house. It kept like it's too much. Okay, got you. And you were bringing, you were bringing too much negative. And energy. it started not being worth it. Got you. Because I said, once you get cars and get some jewelry, and like it's like, all right, now what? Now you still mm -hmm. risking your life for the like. It ain't, so it's like, it, it, to me, like it was hard to explain it to somebody unless they got some money before. Got you. I mean, it's like it, you say money ain't nothing, but you need to live and all that. Okay, but it don't, you don't have to risk your life for it. That's true. I mean, so I start feeling like that. You know what I mean, yeah. and plus I always know I'll find a way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take like this. If we ain't got nothing right now, we are gonna go buy some socks. I'm gonna make sure. Everybody buying our socks. I'm going to knock on every door. You're going to hustle. Yeah, listen, when you need socks, call me. You call my number. I'll bring the socks to you. You want a different color? Just go. Yep. I, mean, I just know I'm going to do whatever it takes. You know what I mean? So, so, so to keep on that, right, you've navigated towards your passion of painting, right? Mm -hmm. Not only, I, I believe, I think it's therapeutic for you, for sure. honestly, because you can sit down and you, you're actually crafting your creation, right? Not only therapeutic, but now you can make some money off of it. Explain that process of what you've been doing. Well, well, well. It kind of fell in my lap, like, like kind of like you know what I mean. I like painting. the rap, like yeah, technically, yeah. like so, rap. So she was going to go buy a cake. At okay. Store Michaels. I've never been to Michaels in my life ever. Like I never even I seen it. I didn't even know what was in there. Right. You know what I mean, so I like I could draw. I seen the pencils in the past. I got bought. I told her I could draw. She like whatever. I bought the stuff to draw. I drew a picture. You know what I mean, she's like, oh, you could draw for real, right? <laughs> Somebody I put it on Facebook. Whatever people saw it. Somebody asked me, yo, can you paint Colin Kaepernick for me? I get a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars. I mean, I tried trading for you, but thousand dollars real quick. <laughs> I bought the stuff. I didn't even know what, how to mix the colors or nothing. I didn't know what, how you make orange. They ain't got That's orange. Why you make? I had to mix it. You know, so I, the first paint, well, like well, I did a practice drawing. It was terrible. Uh, for my mom, terrible. I did the Obama drawing. It looked like it was about to be all right. But <laughs> it was small like this little. Then I did uh -huh. the Colin Kaepernick drawing for the boy. It came out all right. And, then wow. I, and I did. I was like. I know I can do it better than this. I got keep that kept me in. This has been a hook there. He said, like, what, what? I've seen your transition from the very beginning when you were doing it. I see what you I see what you're doing now. Yeah, I came a long way. I'm like, this guy is on a whole other yeah, level. Yeah, I, came, I came a long way. Like long, a long way. I ain't know I ain't know nothing about paint. I just mm -hmm. painted. I like I never learned what to mix. I didn't try try to paint like how I would, I would think it would go, like common sense type stuff where right. you can't you, you gotta learn that how to you mean. I love it though. Let me tell you, 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 you're doing great work. I mean, I know Greg, uh, Greg Parker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know he bought some stuff off for of you. Yeah. I mean, Greg, yo, I, I posted when I did, when I did Greg drone for free, right? Okay. But listen, when I did Greg drone, right? I said, no, watch when I do his drone's gonna pop. See, that's, 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 that's the that hustler. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He asked me to do it. He didn't even know I was doing it, right? I said, I said, watch, and I did him a big drone, right? Took it to him, gave it to him. A thousand people called me right after that. I make more money than if I did. Like I mean, I said he ain't, ain't asking about do you want it, but I got to do him another one because I'm way better than that. Do 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 one person with a big influence, and then next thing you know, yeah, yeah, exactly, it, it starts it starts to go viral. That's the good thing about paint. I, I don't even I say I don't even know you, and I want to know you. Yeah, I do a paint for you and your kids. I bring it to you like mm -hmm. it's gonna blow your mind. Like I'm gonna, I know you now. Absolutely, and that's the best. That that's the best icebreaker in the world ever. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, and and and, and I, I look at it like this with podcasting, right? Me interviewing people like yourself and stuff like that. I start to get to know you, get to know Ashley and so forth, and you start to you know build the relationships yeah, yeah, and stuff like and that. That's, that's what life about. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, life, that's what life about. You never know. You might this person know this person, and all the three together, that's the billion dollars, right? right. Without one of them, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing. You know what I mean, so I mean, I, I, but my thing is this: I just feel like when my age, mm -hmm. my mind always think about the next. Think like that. Like, I ain't gonna, you know, death, of yeah, course, but of course. what happens next? Gotcha. I mean, cause every, the reality you're not living forever. Right, of course. And the older you get, the more it's coming. You know the mean? more clear and it is like, to you. Then you start thinking, like, well, this stuff, then you start thinking about that. You just don't mean nothing too much like that. Mm -hmm. You wanna have fun for the moment, whatever moment you got left. You know what I mean? Right. But, but it's hard that people don't talk about it because it's a scary topic. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. even though you're yeah. going, people like, act like they're not going. You know what I mean, well, I don't wanna think about that. We're not going. It's tough. The, every birthday you have is a birthday closer. 
That's so you know true. What I'm saying? So now you got to think about like, all right. If and Tom, and, and and as you get older, time goes by even more fast. Exactly. Think about when we were kids, the summer <laughs> took forever. Yo, listen, ever. The like, summer's three days for me now. You know what? You know? As a kid, you want to hurry up and do everything. And it's like an oh, hour taking long. I, I yeah. mean, I got to. But like, but like, really like, if everybody thought about that, how, like, how I think about it. Mm-hmm. Of course, in your 20s, you're not. But 40s and 50s, you start thinking about that stuff because... They want to treat people different. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. No, no, do certain stuff if you, if you believe it's a heaven or a hell or a God, yeah. him, God. I mean, but people don't act like they don't, it's no, they act like it's nothing. Yeah, that's so true. Kill somebody, you got to know if it's a God, if it is a heaven or hell, you know you got you to know you're going to get some type of punishment for it. Yeah. So make it worth it at least. You don't want to have a bad life here and then have a bad life wherever you go. Right, let me have a bad life here. Let me The next life, let me have a clean slate. You just have a clean slate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if, if, if whatever, I mean, but I'd be sitting there, why is it anything? Yeah. It don't have to be anything. Mm-hmm. Like why is you your why am I me? What, what what is right? It gotta why are we even yeah, engaging yeah, in yeah, this yeah, conversation? Well, I mean, it's like a reason. I, and, I, and, I, and I wrecked my brain for it. She said, "I'm like yo, I be trying to, figure, I mean, figure something like, <laughs> it, it's like it's like it gotta be a reason. It's too complicated. It just might just make us and to just put us out here and just. I mean, it's something it's something like, bigger than that. And yeah. they make and they make us be able to see and hear the stuff they want us to hear. Do you um do you believe in like um the the Quran or the or the Bible and what it says, or do you look at it like I, just more man made? No, no, I no, I know. I look at it. I always say I don't know. Got you. Okay. You I mean I don't know? I mean, but I like uh, the one thing about the Bible and the Quran. They got a lot. Yeah, we, we we in the middle. They got they got a lot of similar stories. Yeah, a lot of similar people. I mean, so like they, they got both got the similar people. Maybe some of the stuff true, and they I mean they just some people got it mixed up. I mean, so right. like, but at the same time, I think. They didn't even know who made them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe they said Jesus might have, might have been the only one if that's true about his story. But other than that, they don't know. They don't know. They just like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, you right. Know what I mean, I mean like, we have, like, I hang out with Jesus. He say he's the son of God. I believe in him. Mm-hmm. But I ain't never see God. I don't know. I believe in him, so I'm just going to believe what he said because the way he carries himself. But, like, they was just like me besides him. He's the only person that's probably like you mean. But just imagine if you knew where he was going. You, this world would be different. Yeah, that's so You true. knew for sure. Like, God said, listen, you know, when you when five, ten years old, he tell you, listen. You, you know you mess up where you, you going. Yeah, yeah. This world to be different. Yeah, it is. So, so you know, obviously you've you've experienced some traumatic things. You know, even even recently, you know, like mm-hmm. with with your son and things of that sort. Um, what can you what what can you say or, or what advice can you give to you know other parents that have mm-hmm. gone through similar circumstances or even you know the circumstances with 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 these kindergartners and these elementary school kids that just passed away recently. Like, what can like I know you're grieving, right? Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, I know you're grieving as a person, right? Yeah, yeah. What 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 advice can you give? Because you're a strong individual. I mean, to tell you the truth, with this with this situation, I ain't that strong. Like, I mean, it's like some days, like it'd be like real bad. You know what I mean, like the, the more time go by, the more it's, it's reality hitting it. I'm never, never gonna see him again. You know what I mean, right. and it's like it's bad for me, like real bad for me. But like, I, I, I like to tell the parents, like you never gonna get. No, don't let nobody think you're gonna get over it. You're just gonna have to learn how to live with it. Mm. You know what I mean, and you, you got to try to make a lie to yourself about something like tell yourself your son wouldn't want to see you sad or whatever you got to lie to yourself sometimes I mean sometimes because even if my son don't want to see me sad I'm still sad because you're supposed to be here of course you know what I'm saying so it's like then you got all this other stuff on top of like I mean it, but th- what it do did for me it made me like realize like, a lot of stuff was small time problems I did like even me before with beans or like stuff like that like, maybe like man that's, that's, that's so I can more. forgive you for all that stuff now because that's that's not important right you know what I mean, it's like, it's still, it's like and, and, and it was important to me at the, at the time. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, because I feel like somebody do something wrong with me, I got to, I don't know how to let it go, I don't know how to forgive, you know what I mean, I got to, you know what I mean, you know how to go. But this made me realize, like, man, that stuff don't mean anything. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, so like, but it killed me. Like, I mean, it's like, it's like the worst thing I could have went through. Like, it's like, it's like God picked whoever the closest person was to me. It's like, yeah. I'm taking it from me. But I don't even have that many, I mean, people just, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it made me real mad at God for, for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, People can get mad at me but for being mad at God, but if it's hell, I'm going by myself anyway. Mm-hmm. But God can't be mad at you for loving your son, and you mad because he got to die, how he died. Right. You know what I mean? So, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not mad at God like that no more, but like, because I don't really know who God is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But see, people be, be in religions just to be saying they in the in religion. Yeah. So, well, people that really want to know and really trying to look for answers. Yep. They're not trying to knock the white religion. They're, not, they're just really trying to find they're answers. To find they're answers. really trying to be for real about finding. That's how I am. Like, I'm really for, like, if I found something I think was true answers, I would believe in it so much. I wouldn't try to force it on nobody else, but I would be 100% in. You know what I mean? But it's just like, I don't, I just don't think nobody know. Mm. You know what I mean? So, meantime, you just got to just do good. You know what I mean? And try not to do nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Right. But, but yeah, like, I tell people, like, if you lose a kid, you're never going to get over it. It's going to get worse. It's going to be times when you like, don't want to, your motivation's going to be gone. 
you're gonna feel guilty for having if you smile if you smile somewhere, you're gonna feel like I'm laughing, I'm smiling somewhere. Like my you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's like so much stuff you go through, you know what I mean? And it's, and it's like it's no, it's no, it's no everybody's gonna handle it different. Cause I know some people that don't bother them that much. Mm. And, that's, and I, I mean, but me and my son was my friend. He's my I mean, he just be, and he just became my he's just started growing up. Like I'm talking about within the past couple of yeah, months, yeah, yeah. two months. Like he was like getting on my nerves still sometimes. He'd start being, being a grown up, you know I mean. And, I, and remember we left the house that night. That night we left his house, and I had the lottery. But I was like, he finally growing up. <laughs> finally growing up. Got his apartment. Yeah, yeah. He's doing his cooking thing. for his girlfriend, cooking the steak. I say, oh my god, we're looking for this, waiting for this day. He's starting to see, not everything. knowing that it's not knowing that the worst thing in the world. And you know what's so crazy? I'm sitting on the couch one day, right? I say, oh, my life too good. Something about to happen. Then I say that, like, wow. like two, two days, three days before, like I say, yo, something about to happen. No, out of nowhere, it just hit me. Like, I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. I got a big seven inch thing. Like, my life's too perfect right now. Something about to happen. Mm. Like, because nothing's wrong. Right, right, right. God don't let me have you nothing so, wrong. You so used to, in your life, something happening. Yeah, something, you always, get these little moments of happiness, yep, and then something happens. Every time. You know, and it always be something crazy. Mm. Like, like and I said it three, two, three days before. I said, yo, something's about to happen. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I just knew, because it's like, I don't get that. I don't get that to be regular. Type right. Of. Like, I can sign the Rockefeller, right? Somebody said I killed somebody that I didn't know, don't even know. What yeah. is y'all for murder? Like, like, so I'm signed the 99, the happiest time of my life. They lock me in for murder. I don't even know this person. Wow. Sitting in jail for murder. I don't even know this person. Like, so like, it's like I get the, the high, then get the low, right with it. Right. Bang, bang. You know I mean, and they be, and they be close. Like, like, you know what I mean, right, right, right. In, you know I mean, so well, before, right before my son died, I just was becoming the best me. Yeah. Like, I felt happy. I was so happy. Like, I was just happy. Mm -hmm. And I felt it in the inside. And it got took, like, you know what I mean? I don't think it's ever going to come back, you know what I mean? Like, not how it was, you know what I mean? I'm out there doing a mural for somebody that the cops killed. Something positive. Because they only asked me to, like, do a small, like, little... I did yeah. the whole wall, like, you know what I mean? Put his face, like, six feet high. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, when they of unveil it, it's when he died, my son died. So I couldn't even unveil it. People was all there with the cameras and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm looking like, damn, what's, 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 the, chance, what's the chance of this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like... They had to see the car. That shit's like, yo, that's, the, that's traumatizing. And then it was on the internet too, right? On the internet, on the daily news, on the news, everything. Then listen, I'm going to the store, right? Yep. You know, the mask on. Somebody like, yeah, you know, skin on Sunday. They don't even know it's me in the car. The wow. What, so what they you? talking about it. I still, I was about to fuck. He wasn't saying that, but I don't want to hear none of that shit. Like, right, right. Like, you don't want to hear that. Like, the boy looked at it, was like, oh shit, this nigga with the chin. The, shit, the store empty. It's like one o'clock in the morning. It's like an eight plus. I'm walking in there, the two boys, the cashier and the boy talking. I said, yo, yo, watch your fuck. Yo, I was already so mad. Like, I mean, but like, that's how everybody, it was just like a thing. Everybody knew, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, I mean, didn't have, not have your mom not say nothing to you about it. Like, my mom never, to this day. She didn't say anything about it. You know she didn't like, are you, are you cool? Are you call, text, nothing, yeah. And, I, and even though I didn't really, didn't know, I didn't know if she would or wouldn't. Right. But the fact that she didn't, it's like, I mean, it's like, it's kind of hurtful. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like, damn, all right, you only care about my son. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, that was like, mm. But even though I can take it, but still, like you mean, it still it still hurts because nobody can really imagine how it feels because nobody mom would do that, right? Yep. You know, even if your mom manager, you, you know, she's still gonna say, yeah, oh, she's still gonna acknowledge the the of the course, like, of course, that's what a mother like, does. What's that? Two bucks from my house. You think she would be the one to call me? Like, you know, I mean, it's like, and I, and I asked her about about two weeks ago. I said, yo, I'm, why you why you never said anything? Because my little sister asked me to call her. Okay, and we don't talk. So I said, why you ain't never asked me about like I mean about as cool as anything about us? She's like she's about to explain. She's like man, bye, whatever. Wow. Yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah, I was like, mm. so like, you know what I mean? So it's like, even though you, you, you're smart enough to know you can't let that like mess with your life. Right. You can't outsmart how you feel. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're like, human. That's yeah, the, you're like, gonna You're going to feel it. You're going to feel hurt. You're going to feel sad. You're going to feel angry sometimes. You're just going to feel it. Because like, no matter how much I say I don't like her, I still love her. Yeah, of course. That's your mom. You know what I mean? And, I, and it's so crazy. I can't even front and say like, I don't love her, but I don't like her. Right. I mean, I don't, you mean, but. Well, you don't like the things that she's done she throughout your entire yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, my whole life. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. You still love her because that's your mom. That's the connection that you had. She had you. You just don't like. At the first, that I, had, I used to be looking for that day. You gonna, she gonna just like, you mean, we gonna like, you mean, Turn the life around. You know, but I've been, mm -hmm. I, I get up a long time ago, but like, I mean, but it's like, but it's like, that's the circumstances I was born in. Right. Born in these circumstances, but like, you mean, person don't, you mean, nobody cares about you. I mean, like, damn, nobody. You mean, and it's like, you really grew up like that. Mm -hmm. and, but you still care about people. Yeah. I mean, I had two little sisters I cared about so much that I never got to focus on myself. Right. Because they was going to do the same thing. I had to feed them. I mean, they were only one and two years younger than me. You know what I mean? So, like, I never got to focus on me and be pity for, over me. You know what I mean, I'm glad I didn't. 
Yeah. You know I mean, so because yeah. you were constantly serving others, helping other people out. Plus, plus I mean, I got to, I do, I got, I got to do a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> Not yeah. twenty one, I got to do stuff that a lot of people never get, get to do. You know yeah. I mean? But still, no, the, the 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 bad stuff outweigh the good stuff because mm -hmm. the bad stuff affects you. Good stuff is like alright, fun because you ain't have it before, and then right. it can wear off. Bad stuff affects you forever. Yeah, like, even tomorrow, you like you 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 do something like you find something, doing something like why I do that like because you, you, you grown like that your whole life. Well, think about it, our mindset, right? You can you can be on social media, you can see a post, you can see a hundred positive messages, you see that one negative, and that thing will stick yep. out. Yep. bigger than everything yep. else because it, it, it makes you feel some type yeah, of way it makes you feel some type of way and, and, and I think that's the reason why the news continues to put negativity out there because we react a certain way to it mm -hmm. you know and I, I hate that's the one thing I don't like about myself like like I get when I get mad I get mad mad I mean yep. and, and it's because the stuff I went through like you mean like plus you know what I was raised we gotta gotta fight back yeah of course you can't be you mean and it's like sometimes I be too have it too much I mean I want to tone it down that's something I mean but it's like you know, you've had it for so long, you mean, and, 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 and it's like, it's in you so strong. Yeah. But I just want it out. I mean, I, wanted, I don't, don't want to have this lesson. might just make me so mad every time. Yeah. You mean, but it's like, I got angry stuff that's, that happened to me that I just never got over. And it's like, I mean, but you notice about yourself. So that's the first, that's the first step, the fix, fixing it or whatever. Yeah. But it's like, who really, who really take the time to try to better themselves in that type of aspect? That's might I want to be better. That's true. Yeah. You, you know got to acknowledge it first. And then want to want to take those concerted efforts. Because yeah, I never come, come to go on a podcast or teach nowhere inside acting like I'm got it all together. Or yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm smart. That's why I don't give people too much advice unless they ask me for something. You know I mean, because right. I've been through some things, but I, I just don't like fake people like to act like they just. You know what I mean, because everybody still had that thought like, damn, I. You know what I mean? like, like, we you all know got mean? inferior yeah, 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 complex. You know I mean? Like, like well, I should do it. I mean, so like, I mean, so I, that's why I'm, I'd be free. I'm free because I don't have to act like nothing. I don't have to be like this. I can just be me. If you don't like me, I don't care. Like, I mean, whatever. Right. You know I mean? But a lot of people got to put up this face and they, and they take too much effort, too much time. Now you got to live that lie. Yeah, like, it's like time. I'm tired. I, I want to curse when I want to. I want to be mad and say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have did that. But yep. like, I just not felt that day. I mean, like, I mean, so like, that, that's the freedom I got. The people still mess with me, even though I'm being myself. Right. I'm like, you mess with me still? They still love you for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's, 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 the, that's the good part. Like, you know I mean? with, 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 with that being said, let me tell you, and I'm going to look into this camera right here because both my other cameras just shut down on me. But that's okay, <laughs> right? Oskino is not only a person that went through so much, right? His overall journey, right? But he's a success story out of Philly. My man came out of the worst environment. He dealt with so many issues and problems, even until this day, life traumatic situations. But you have a person here that still stands here to this day, through all of that, through his, his lowest and his highest, you know, things, right? And he still is determined to make a way and continue to be kind towards people. You understand? Mm. Like, people don't realize that you, I'm giving you your flowers because mm. you are a legend, right? You're not only a legend, but from what I've seen in our conversation, you're a great person, mm. you know? And, and, and I just want to let you know that we all appreciate you, that's you know? Same. Because, and I'm saying this to the world, Oskino is very authentic, he's real, but he's also very genuine, you know, and a good person. So I just want to give you your flowers and, you know, I'm sorry for everything that you went through because I know, you know, we, we all have our little moments, but you've gone through a lot, but you're one of those individuals that stands tall. And I think you are an inspiration to not only me, but you're an inspiration to so many. Appreciate that. Man. Yeah. So he's a, he a living legend. I'm going to throw up the rock sign for him. You know, he a living legend. Um, But anyway, it's a wrap, y'all. Thank you so much. We got planes to catch. We ain't got time for the nonsense. Peace.